Wait, wait, check, 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 check me. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Next game. Okay, round one. Let's go knight f3 here. Let's get it. We'll get the show on the road. Thank you so much. Go cool for the 44. Let's play g3. Uh, we're going to play more Kings in the Attack in honor of Robert James Fisher, the, the one and only, well, I guess Paul Morphy wasn't, so the one and only World Chess Champion of the United States of America. Let's play Rookie 1 here, probably E5, Knight F1, get typical. I think I've actually played this guy in round one before. This looks like a familiar, I think I've played this guy in title two in the first round. I don't think this is the first time we played. Um... I'm going to play knight e3. Yeah, I really think that I... I think I played this guy like last week or the week before. This is bizarre. I'm going to have to look. Thank you so much to Ursus for the 17 and Imperium for the Prime. I'm going to have to look after this game. Someone... If my mods can actually tell me how to uh, how to check, I, I think I'm going to take a look. Um, I can go knight f5 maybe. It's interesting. I kind of want to go for something insane. But it's no good. So let's just go... Uh, let's just go c3. I'm gonna go knight g4 to hit the pawn on h6. Probably queen d2 somewhere. Like here and now. I'm I'm almost certainly going to sack. Go c4. Now I'm chucking a pawn, but I think I have tricks on the d file here. I mean, I, I'm gonna go for some tricks with uh on on the uh diagonals here. Or not. Or maybe I'm just insane. I guess I'll take. I'm probably going to take and go knight f6. Let's take and go check. It's getting very wild. I probably should not have done this objectively, but I'll still, still probably find a way to win. Although, we'll see. Thanks so much to Barry Smoothly for the 6 and Tiburon for the 12. Thanks so much to Tiburon. I mean, if he doesn't take the queen and allow the fork, I'm not sure what else he's going to do here. And he takes. I check take, of course. Uh, that just allows a forkaroo here of everything, and I think I'm now on my way to winning. But after this game, my, my mods can tell me how I search on um, how I search chess.com because I'm almost certain, like I, I'd say I'm like 90% sure that I played this guy in round one of Title Tuesday before. Okay, goes C4, which is a good move. I'll take the rook in the corner to force the rook off the C file. Um, I like knight d2 to hit the pawn. Should be pretty good here. Daniel speaking Russian? Aha, uh -huh, okay. okay. He's just thinking. King G2 is a pretty safe move here, so I'll pre move. He goes knight D4, Chang's knight C4. Is knight c4 the best move? This does allow a forkaroo as well. Um, and I can go rook c1 here. This is actually strange. I don't like my position, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna just gonna take instead. Um, takes, of course I take. There's knight c2 logical. Hmm. Am I am I up material or not? One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm just up a pawn. So okay, this this should be fairly clean. So let's go uh here to force him to take. I will take and I'm up a pawn. I've got a good knight. I've got great locks here. The king can't come in. Um, so I think I'm actually just winning here due to the placement. These pawns are very important. The king can't come forward. Uh, so I assume that I'm winning. Knight also great bash in here on c4. So I think I'm just gonna win this game now. Okay, my man is really deep in the tank here. Not sure why. Thank you so much for Roasted Penguin for the five. How was the Boston trip? Very good now. I could take the juicer, but then he gets infiltration and a kebab where he impales the meat. We don't want him impaling any meat, so I'm gonna play B3 and keep this uh keep this queen side closed now. Has a weakness on A5. I can always go rook d1, d7, create my own kebab on the seventh rank, and this looks very good for me. Yeah, rook d7 and knight d6, and I assume I'm winning here somehow. Uh, let's just go here. Try to impale the meat. 
Knight d6 is a move. Rook c7, also a very solid move here to put pressure on the b shop. Um, and now I have knight d6 lurking as well. Um, probably not knight d6. I think I'll just go f4, guard the juicer. And then I'm going to play knight, knight d6, create a class, a connect four, and I should win the game. I think there's a roasted penguin again for the five, the sports lawyer for the prime, and Honest Schultz for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Looking very good. Other guy won who Magnus won. Okay, not shocking. Um, click on the heads up scorer on his profile. See, uh, okay, it's not doing it. Now, if I take, he takes, and I actually can't go to a7. So, due to the classic wooden shield, I actually would lose the game. But I can go here, tickle the bishop first, and now I can just take, go here, and rook a4, and the rest will be very basic. Okay, so I can click on his name, you said? Zero, zero, zero. No, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I haven't played him. Maybe I'm insane, right? Yeah, I haven't played him. Okay, I'm insane. Fair enough. All right, whatever. We got the win. Round one in the books. Magnus won his first game. Let's see who else is playing. I don't know if Magnus is streaming this. Is Magnus streaming or not? Probably not, right? Uh, let's watch Nihal. Nihal is playing Daniel Narodisky. Okay, Nihal is going to win, so let's move on. Dania is playing. Dania is white. He's got a great Bastion, better pawn structure. Objectively, I mean, I think Magnus could save us with black, but I think, I think that this guy's 2,500. Daniel's going to crush him here. He isn't live. Okay, fair enough. Coolio. Coolio. So, yeah. All right, A4. Nice boot. Nice move. Nice move. <laughs> nice move by Dan to attack the queen here. Overloads the queen. Queen can't guard the knight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sober. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly uh, yeah exactly what's wrong with me sorry um losing my mind all right playing damiano lu in round two now, this is another guy who streamed i played him quite a few times in title tuesday what is it what what is the box what box okay e4 i'm gonna play the carl Khan since Le since um levi roseman is playing this tournament let's play like a levi roseman Things are just Griffin Griffin for the 24, Neo Matrix for the Prime. Okay, um, I'm going to play E6 here, just very standard. Play C3, logical. I think I'm just going to develop normally here. Go here. Now, I could trade. I can also play like Knight C5, but I think I'm just going to keep this very, very basic here. Just castles, nothing too exciting. And play E5. I can also play F5, which is kind of interesting here. Yeah, I think I'm going to play F5. I'm kind of curious. This might not be a good move, but it looks interesting. I mean, I can always play for F4. I mean, there's a slight weakness on E5, but I'm not sure how he takes advantage. So I'm going to scoot the king out of the way. Knight H2. Is G4 actually a threat? Maybe it is. Okay, I think I'm going to play... Knight g8 then. Idea just to reroute my knight maybe. Okay, now I'm going to go f4. Close the diagonal down. He's got to go g4. And then probably I go here. Keep an eye on this diagonal now. And I don't know if I'm necessarily better. I cover e6. And now I target the juicer on d3 as well. He is playing this pretty well though. I actually feel like Damiano or however you pronounce Damiano, Damiano. He's sweet. He's Swedish. So probably it's like Damiano. Let's go. Bishop f1 is also a good move. I actually don't like my position that much here. Uh, I guess I'll go here in rookie eight or something. I do have H five somewhere in here too. He's pull. Oh, he's Polish. Yeah. What did I? Oh yeah. I said he's. Did I say he's Swedish or something? I said something weird, right? Yeah. Yeah. Of course he's not Swedish. Um. I don't like my position, but I think it's relatively okay. Go here. I can play C five maybe. I also play knight f6 here. I'm gonna go c5, try to try to complicate the situation a little bit here. Try to put more pressure on the pawn on d3 if I can. So I'll keep the pre-move in play. Goes a3 now. I could play c4, which is interesting too. I can also play b. I'm gonna go c4 here. Try to lock this bishop in jail, kind of. Knight h4, which is a move that I completely overlooked, obviously. Um Yeah, I actually have some issues here. This is not the dream. You need to be careful. Now, I could play bishop e5. 
So that allows a tactic. So I'm just going to drop back. If I go here, he has knight f3. The thing is, this bishop on d2 is actually very passive. So I'm still kind of okay. Goes knight 3 now. I assume I should play g6 or maybe h5 even. Yeah, I think I'm going to start getting really wacky and wild here with h5. I don't know what's going on. I might lose here. This might be a bad move, but it seems like the position is getting a little bit, little bit out of control. And that's kind of what I want here. So we'll see what he does. Neither shot Merrill thinking a gradient for the 18 Jorms for the 31 Cirque Cart Knight and Javin Cones. Of course, I take. I could have taken on G4 first, I guess. Um, now he goes Rook D1, so he wants to go for Bishop F4. Um, I can go to C7. I can go to C8. Can also go to C6, maybe. Don't want to take. Um, can also take on E1 too. Maybe. Maybe I just go here. I, I've, I've got to move a little bit quicker. I'm moving too slowly here. It's not a great position for me. Knight h2, that looks like a mistake. Okay, so of course I'll take. I assume you take with a pawn and I go like bishop g6 or something. Knight h2 was not a very good move. That much I'm sure of. Okay, he's starting to use his time up here. Wait, what? Wait a second, wait a second. Bishop g6. Um... Yeah, it's just losing. He just he just lost his mind. I don't really know why. Just lost his mind. Things with curses for the 24 blonded for the prime and ninja ninja turtle 63 with the prime. Completely insane. Completely insane. Rook e8 is played. Uh, now I can take with the queen or the rook. Doesn't matter is the big question. My gut says take with the rook. Queen takes also, yeah, because if I take, he gets some rookie one. So I think I just take this way. If I take with the queen, he gets at least rookie one and some kind of pretend tactics. Knight h6 doesn't work. I did see, I did spot a weird tactic during the game, by the way. And I don't know if it actually worked, but I did see this tactic where he can play like um, knight g5, bishop g6, and I think he can just go takes, takes, and knight h6. And this is like a very, oh, I guess it doesn't actually work because I have knight e7, but if I take the queen, I get checkmated. This is like a really beautiful checkmate. Um, but apparently, oh, he has this one too, knight d6, the other way for the checkmate, which is beautiful as well. This is actually winning for white, but whatever, Dom, Damiano missed it. We get the win. We're two out of two, um, and we move on to round number three. Thanks for to Isaac of No Friends for the $3. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ignore, oh, Magus is playing. Let's pull up Magus' game. Magus is white, right? So yeah, Magus is winning then because he's rook up seven. He's going to have d7. He is winning. I mean, Rook F7 looks winning here. He's using a lot of time, I guess, just to double check. Okay, Rook E... Oh, this also wins with D7. This is winning, but is there an instant win? Takes Rook E6. I mean, I, this is winning because you can hide the king with A7, B7. So it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, just B7 and, and Rook F6 and King A8. Magnus entitled, heck yeah. Yeah, Magnus is playing. Thanks so, thanks so much to Anonymous for gifting a sub to XQC. Thank you so much to Anonymous for the uh, for the uh, sub to XQC. who has been subbed to this channel for 10 months now, apparently. So a big shout out to Felix Longjell, one of the pioneers of chess on Twitch. Okay, we're playing uh, we're playing Rosada Pallavi, right? Uh, let's, let's play Knight F3, G3, um, and keep going. Knight F3, G3, Bishop G2. I guess I will um, play b3 here and bishop b2. By the way, yeah, this guy this guy's name isn't... I was making a joke. His name isn't Reza Pahlavi, although I think many people wish that they... Uh, many people in a certain country wish they could go back to such times. Play e3 here. Um, if takes, takes. There's my political statement for the day for anybody who's wondering. Uh, if takes, you just take with the knight. 
Does Danny do a Gary imitation of Russian? I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, I'm going to play... There should be two, maybe D5. So much true, yeah. Yeah. Plays 94, which is a good move, by the way. This guy, this this kid's playing well. I like I like his style so far. I'm going to go 9-2 and take with the queen. I guard the pawn on D4. I take with the pawn, of course. Um, Do I play C4 or not? It's an interesting choice. Um... My instinct is to play c4 and d5. I, I don't know if it's right. I think he should have played d5 and e6 and created a weakness on d4. So now I think I'm a little bit better here. It goes rook c8. Interesting. So now I can play knight a3 here. I can also play d5. Um, hmm. I should be better here, but how do I do this? I should be better. Maybe rook d1. I wish I could get my knight to c3. I just can't. I could actually put the knight here and take. That's an interesting transition. Knight c3, bishop d4. Knight c3, but there's also queen a5 there. I think I'm just going to play rook d1 here, guard the pawn. Feels a little bit wrong. He goes h5, which... Okay, now I still want to play knight... Wait, but I wanted to play knight c3, right? Yeah, because now when he takes with the bishop, I take. When he takes with the knight, I just take, drop back, and I'm happy. But I'm not happy because I allowed bishop g4 now. I'm not happy because when I take his bishop g4, shoot. Maybe it's... I should not have done that. Okay, I think I'm just going to... I'm going to pretend I did nothing wrong. Because I, I don't want to lose this light square bishop to some knight of three where he gets like a wooden shield. So I'm just going to chuck a pawn. And he's pushed the pawn to h5. So I, I don't... I feel like... Go here, hit both the pawns. Classic 90 degree right triangle, of course. It's not a great position, but I think I'm okay-ish, ish. Whoa, E6 looks very bold. Because now, now he's gonna have dark square weaknesses himself. Wait, this looks a little bit insane to me. I mean there, there are problems here for sure. I go here and now. Big, big problems for black. Big problems. Of course I take and take. I mean, it's maybe big problems is too strong, but I'm definitely better here. Go here. <sighs> Should not have allowed that, but I get a wooden shield and a connect four. I guess I could have grabbed the pawn and played queen e2, but it goes queen f6. Now, this does give me f4. Yeah, I think I'm going to play f4 here. And then rook f2. And now I'm, I'm trying to do something on both files here. Both the e and the f file. The wooden shield still in play, very much so. And now I just win the pawn, and I should be very happy due to the pin. Still not guaranteed. It's still not easy to win, but this should be. It's better. We'll see if I can actually win this. Two, two. Feels pretty good though. Yeah, I think I trade. Whoops, I trade and take. I mean, with the extra pawn, I go here. I mean, because bishop f7 is a huge threat. Queen e8 is also a huge threat here. Uh-oh. Did I make a mistake here? I can hide on h6 and I don't... Ah. This is g7. I mean, h3 and g4 is what I want to play, kind of. I'm going to play h3. I'm trying to go queen e7 at some point. Oh, wait, but this doesn't even work. What am I doing? Check. I'm gonna go here. I 
I mean, I still have tricks here. There still are tricks. Maybe I can still win this. Take. I can go back to F6. Uh, maybe I can go to G8 or E8 here. Wait a second. Queen F6, King H7. I also have G4. G4 and G5 is mate. Bishop D3. I think this is a good... Oh, I missed queen c1. Oh, my. Oh, wait, no, but I have here in bishop g2. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't even see queen c1. I'm very lucky. I'm not actually just lost here. Okay, so I take. He does this in the wrong order, though, because now I think I can. I well, If he checked with the pawn on h5, he has some h4 trick. Okay, so I go check. Oh, is this not mate? Wait, what the heck? Wait, wait, check, 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 check me. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Next game. Round four, I'm playing against Mitraba. I will keep playing Knight of three, G3 and keep going. Is Yavrikur a GM? Not yet, but he should be a GM. So, anyway. Play Knight of three. Tech stock's no bueno. I mean, I don't really hold tech. I haven't held tech in a, quite a while. Okay, Mitraba, I guess, is just disconnected right now. So, yeah. You have almost twice as many viewers as Ninja right now on Twitch. That's awesome. I actually raided Ninja yesterday. He said he was a big fan of the Disrespect speedrun. So, big shout out to, uh, to my man, Tyler. Actually, I shouldn't say Tyler because then people think I'm talking about Tyler1. Um, but, yeah, nin Ninja's just, uh, you know, pioneer also. Let's just go E4 and D2 here. Keep it simple. Yeah, yeah, because when I say Tyler, it's like nobody, everybody refers to him as Ninja. So when I say Tyler, they're like, oh, Tyler won. Like, that's not who I'm talking about, of course. It plays E5 here. I'll play A4, C3, Knight, C4, um, and go from there. Also, actually, why did I play? Actually, A4 was a really bad. I don't want to say it was like really, really bad because it's not the end of the world, but I should have gone A3, B4. That's normally how I play this whole structure. So I don't know what I'm even doing. There's b6 logical. I don't really want to play b4. Knight e3 is a move here. I think it's probably a good ish move, ish being the keyword. I don't think it's great, but yeah. So it's all good, you guys. All good. Okay, it goes d5. So he does strike hard in the center. Um, I didn't think this was supposed to be the right moment for him to strike, though. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm just stupid. I'm looking for a trick here because. feel like there's something that I'm missing here. I'm going to take and go here, maybe. Hit the pawn. He's going to go queen c7. I'm probably going to go a5, I think. Yeah, I'm going to play a5 and knight e3. I'm going to try to get really a little bit wonky. a5 is also kind of committal, though. This might not be a very good move by me. But we'll see. It could also be completely fine. So I get knight e3, and we have some swaps here in the center. And stuff starts opening up. There, There is going to be a lot of play. It goes a6, which... I think I can play knight. Wait, knight g5, knight e3, knight e6, knight d1, knight c7 is good. Knight g5, take. Yeah, I, he blundered this. Okay, and now it gets kind of wild here because I have this great uh, bishop on the diagonal. The bishop can see all the knights. It can see the rook, and black has problems. So I think knight g5 is a very strong move by me, and I think I'm just much better here. I don't know if I'm winning, but I'm much better. I also have this diagonal too. I've got multiple diagonals. Rook d8, queen f3 looks like a good rock solid move. This should be a two also, but I, I think uh, if I go queen f3, he can tickle me with g4. Yeah, yeah, that's that's queen f3 is a mistake. So, huh? I guess I go back to a2 then. So he still has his pawn. So I go queen f3, he goes g4 to tickle, and then he gets like g4 f5, etc. So now I can also play d4, but I assume I just take and play like queen e2 or queen g4 as well. Hmm. I know somehow queen g4 like h4 h5 looks right it goes f5 to go here oh but now i give him e4 what the heck oh geez i just made a big mistake um ah, this is not great let's let's leave it at that I go here to hit the knight knight f3 i just take huh what was that 
I mean, he's much better here. Okay, whatever. I'll take it. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say, you guys. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> of course, I have completely lost their paid actor. Yeah, after the game, he's going to go check his uh, check his PayPal, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm not playing great. Of course, Magnus is about to win, too. So Magnus also going to be on four out of four. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I really don't know. Yeah. After F... Oh, after F5, I had Bishop take C4. Oh, you're right. I'm actually a terrible chess player. You guys are right. If I go to my games, I go to my archive. You're right. You're right. I'm actually a terrible chess player. Because right back here, I have this move, hitting the king and the rook. And when he takes the juicer, I take and he can't guard the rook. Oh, I'm actually terrible. This is... This is actually just winning. Oh, I'm really bad at chess. Uh, not good. But we got the win. Four out of four. Magnus is up four pawns here. I don't know why his opponent isn't resigning yet, but he's up four. Thanks so to Arjun Yashima for the tier one. Mustache Girl with the Prime. Magi, Magi Malicious with the tier one. Uh, Federer is the GOAT, but I but it had an argument that Agassi, Agassi should be included in the top ten. I mean, if you saw Agassi play against peak Federer in what was that, like 2005 US Open final? I mean, for like a set and a half, Agassi was able to like rally with Federer. And that's when Federer was just like hitting the ball really, really well. I mean, it was, the courts were super fast. So, I mean, Agassi is definitely underrated. Let's play D5 here. Let's play a Karo Khan because it's been working so poorly. Wait. He played Knight GE2. I did not expect that. Um, Okay, Shima Man is getting a little bit interesting here. I could play Bishop G4, maybe. I think I'm going to play Bishop G4. I'm kind of curious. He's going to play here. I guess I'll take. I'm going to take the pawn. I don't know. Maybe it's no good. But I, I'm kind of skeptical of what he's doing here. Knight D5 also moved, by the way. Wait, I need to think here. Because this doesn't look right somehow. I mean, knight bd7 is a safe move. e3 is also a move, too, actually. Um, okay, I'm thinking too long here. I should just move. I'm just going to play knight d7. I'm thinking way too long. If he could castle, this would be very bad for him, but he can't. So, this rook d1. I assume queen b4 is still correct. Castles, I expected that. I don't really want to play e6. e5 looks... Oh, e5 is going to go knight e4, of course. I could castle, I guess. Okay, I'm th I, again, I'm thinking way too long here. There's no way I'm going to win this fight if I use all this time. So, um, bum, 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 bum. Okay, I don't want to play e6. g5 is not the move. I think I'm going to castle. I'm just going to go for it. I, I'm moving way too slowly. I just got to move. takes with that knight which okay, again I can take do I have f5 here maybe I think I have f5 here I don't know if I do so I'm just gonna play e5 here instead which is probably a mistake also yeah I'm just using way too, I use way too much time here in this opening this should be three can't play f5 here um gotta move you gotta move you gotta move I also had knight b6 maybe, but whatever. I, I just have to move fast here. Trying to think about what he's going to play, basically. Still down a lot of time here. Hmm. 
24, okay, not B5. A6 looks very bad, but I don't see a better move here, frankly. Queen. Oh, wait, that looks wrong. Wait. That looks very wrong to me somehow. I don't know if it is, but it looks wrong. Because queen b6, he loses the knight. So he's going to have to take, and I'm going to take. Wait, what? I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just losing, but I don't see it. I suspect I could have taken and played like knight c5 or something, but I, I don't have a lot of time here. And so I'm just going to try to play fast. Four. Okay, I guess I go here. Go here. Uh oh. Take. Okay, now I should be safe, actually. Kind of. Um. Blockade? I mean, I should be better now, kind of. I have rook b8. Yeah, I've un I'm unwinding this because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ice skater him on the back if he pushes b6 and takes. Here in Rook B4, I'm starting to really outplay him now. And now I have Rook B2 with the classic uh, classic wooden shield as well. Yeah, I've completely outplayed him. I'm going to win this game now. Or I should win the game. Doesn't mean I will win the game. How do I do this? Um, no B6 move. Yeah, it's just getting mated. Thank you so much Bebop for the Prime, Saket for the Prime. I actually played that like a god. Um, I'm not going to lie. I played that like an actual god at some point. Okay, apparently Rook D6 is good here. Um, but yeah, considering the time situation, I mean, I was very lucky. Okay, so I did this, which apparently Rook D6 is actually winning. I mean, this looks horribly scary, but I can go Queen E8, and I guess I just run the king up, and I'm safe here on the center of the board. But okay, whatever. No time, very unlikely that I would find this. So I go here. Okay. Bishop d6 is right. King e6 is fine. Oh my god, I can go knight e6 here, which is insane. Because I have rook d8, and I have, a, I have a classic ice skater. That's actually pretty wild. I can go knight e6 here. That's insane. So I go here, and I block. And now I just start playing this really well. Also, b6 here doesn't work, because then I have rook b8. Takes, takes, queen. 
and then I ice skater him with rook to b1 so that's why he couldn't do it but anyway nobody cares we get the win five out of five um let's see who else on five I assume Magnus is where's Magnus's game he's done all right here we go um round number six I'm playing my teammate Mr Vladimir Fedosev from Russia currently living in Spain we have Reddit react we have a Wall Street Journal article we have a chess.com article so a lot of stuff now I'm playing El Big Fishito uh I'm gonna play e5 and then I'm gonna play a Spanish or is he gonna play Gucci no he's not gonna play the Gucci piano um do I really I mean a draw is fine but do I want to draw or not now nah, I'm gonna play a let's play a real Spanish like a man let's play d6 Bishop d7 thanks for to Mitch for the six months Yeah, I'm, I'm, I just, I, I want to have fun. I, I don't want to do that. Let's go here. Let's go here. Fianchito, the bishop here. Let's go here. Knight f6, next move. You demand. Thank you. Now, f6 is what Fabuno was, F Fabiano was playing this f6, knight h6 stuff against Maxime in one of the speed chess events. So if Fabiano can play it, then I can do it too. So let's play knight h6 here. I think it's Squirtus Aurelius. Thank you so much to Squirtus Aurelius. Appreciate it. Thank you. Fabiano played this against MBL in the speech chess championship like 2021 or something um so yeah I just now castles I suspect is a move Queen b3 I had a seven takes I think it's fine actually I think this is fine because I think I've tricked with 95 okay so he takes now I can take with a d pawn actually f takes is also a move here I can also not play b5 um d takes is definitely a move but it doesn't feel right to me it's also fine though I think I'll take the deep pawn. it feels decent I have knight f7 I have knight a5 okay so I assume I block the knight and go like bishop c8 or e8 bishop c8 is a move but bishop b8 is also a move um oh but bishop b8 is bishop c5 so I guess I go here Bishop c5, just rook e8, and then bishop e6. Assuming I'm not hanging something here, which is also possible. Because takes, takes, queen b3, I just go back to d7, and I'm fine. I'm also threatening bishop e6 here. If I get bishop e6 in, I'm completely fine. With no worries whatsoever. So I guess I dream of this. Oh, did I just blunder? Oh no, I think I just blundered. Oh no, I did actually. But I do have rook b8 and rook a8 or something. Oh, I did blunder. Lovely. Let's go here and rook a8. I mean, this doesn't look right. Go here. Queen c4 is a move. But then I have knight a5 too. Wait, it goes queen b5. So wait, if I go rook a5, what's going on? No, then he has rook takes d7. If I play rook a4, knight d4, that's also an option. Wait a second. This It's not a move. Knight d4. Knight b8. Knight b8 is no good. Knight d6 doesn't look right. Rook a5, rook d7. Takes. No, rook a5 is no good. So I guess I'll go for this then. And knight d4. So, I mean, I have knight c2 also here. Or knight f3. I mean, I have multiple options here. I mean, knight c2 to take the rook as a move also. Takes. Um... I have f5 maybe I'm clinging to a prayer here kind of I have f5 and 
Queen C4, wait, that's not a move I expected. Um, Queen B8, maybe? I'm looking for something here. Not Bishop E6. Okay, F5 is a move. Got to come with a move. I just got to move. I just got to move. You got to move. D4, Knight D2 doesn't look right. I'm just going to go here. So he takes. So my take. No, this isn't working at all. I'm gonna have to basically try to win this game on the clock or something. Blundered in the opening, I got punished for it. But I still have some hope. If I can just keep the game going long enough. F5, E5. Just goes H4, of course. I mean, I have G3 too. Bishop H6, maybe? Oh, he's got Knight F4, which I missed also. Um, go here. Trying to create some kind of counterplay, anything if I can. There's also Queen C4, which I missed too. But I, I can just keep the game going. That's all I have to do. Five. Yeah, this just isn't happening. I also hung that. Doesn't help. Bishop E3. Wait, there should be a tactic here. What the heck? I almost swindled him. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing. Ah, whoops! Didn't mean to click that. That was almost a draw here. I guess it's losing no matter what. That's so annoying because I should have just lost the game cleanly, and then he gave me a glimmer of hope at the end. Back. Yeah, I just wonder the opening here. Yeah, castles is castles is okay, but I have to not take the deep on basically. Although wait, it's still oh bishop e8 is still okay. Hmm, interesting. Apparently this is okay. Strange, strange. Anyway, whatever. That's life. Just misplayed the opening. Probably I, I should have been solid in retrospect rather than gambling, but it happens.